time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. Yesterday on Netflix, the movie Blue Miracle dropped. It stars the Randy Quaid, and it's actually based off a true story. This was a true life story. And let me tell you, this is one for the family-friendly crowd. It will definitely pull out your pull at your heartstrings. I enjoyed it. Let's, let's give it a little the review. The story is set in San Lucas, Mexico. And this man, Omar, who, who owns, like he runs this orphanage, you know, uh, and close to the orphan boys, he is actually trying to get money because, you know, that area was devastated by a hurricane, totally destroyed his orphanage. He owes the bank all kinds of debts from, you know, the repairs and everything on the orphanage that they're about to come claim and take everything. And he's just trying to raise some money. Well, as luck would have it, like a local fishing tournament is about to start with a big old prize. And, you know, a t weird twist of events happened that Omar and his orphan boys, you know, were paired with this two-time tournament champion, Captain Wade, who's played by Dennis Quaid, and they were paired for him in this tournament, who he don't want nothing to do. Captain Wade don't want nothing to do with this, <laughs> you know? So first, Captain Wade didn't want not to be paired with anyone, but he gets paired with these, with Omar and his boys. And on top of it, the boys had never fished in their life before. I said, this is a true story. It is a true story. I always loved that. I didn't even realize it was true while I was watching it till the end when they showed, you know, pictures of the, the real life people. But this one, I mean, it was a sweet story. It was it was just a sweet pull at your heartstrings, believe in miracles kind of story. The message of it, I loved. I absolutely loved. I was surprised the casting did really well. Of course. Did his Quaid, he's a legend in his own time. He was amazing. I mean, he played this grumpy old, you know, fisherman and and he did I was like, didn't I was like has this pandemic been hard on you? Because you played that little grumpy role a little too well, Dennis Quaid. A little too well. I was believing I'm like, why are you such a big bad mood, Dennis Quaid? But also the rest of the cast, especially the younger, you know, boys who play the orphans in this. You know, it could be iffy sometimes when you have these young actors. You, it does, you know, how well they do on stage. Because I guess it's hard to find, you know, se seasoned actors of that kind of age. But they all mesh well together. They all did a great job. Jimmy Gonzalez, who plays Omar, the owner, you know, who runs the orphanage. Oh, he did well as I also. You know, I looked him up and he hasn't had any ma major leading roles like this. This is kind of his first one. And I was just, I just love him now. I hope to see him in more roles. He just had that that connection you can just tell with the boys and he and he was like a father figure and you felt it. I said I love the message. I love the message about, you know, never giving up, you know, doing what's right, sticking towards your morals, you know, and and things will just work out, you know. And I thought it was, I thought that was Let's talk about, you know, things parents need to know before letting their kids watch this. As far as language, I mean, this is very friend, family friendly. There was no profanity used or anything like that yet. You really have to look out for this one. The only mature content you might want to look out for, I mean, these are boys that have been orphaned, you know, so they have some hard time, you know, hard moments where they're actually talking about being in foster care and being abused. So that can kind of be triggering, you know, for some people, especially you talking about the abuse. There was alcohol consumed in this. So if you're against that kind of thing, but you know, all around, I thought it was very safe for all ages to watch this. Like I said, it was a, just a sweet story, a great, a great story. One that, you know, will, will definitely a heartwarming and pull at the heartstrings. a little bit of faith based theme to it, you know, but it's not one that's going to be shoved down your throat. You just kind of mentioned prayer and stuff like that. But yeah, I definitely suggest it. I liked it. And it's on Netflix streaming now. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Comments and all that down below. And until next time, mwah!